Hi, YouTube. I got a few chores to take care of in the garden today. I think I'm going to cut that comfrey out of there, too. But, needless to say, haven't had any more worm damage. That right there is current tomato. Them, them should be real ones. Uh, we got another melon. Um, oh boy. Look at that. Look at how fat. Can y'all see that? It ain't been long since I filmed it. Slings. I'm gonna have to put some slings up. Yeah, Kenzie. Uh huh. He just be just talking. Um. Uh oh. Something else I might want to film. We'll see if this opened up or not. Look at how beautiful. Ooh, look at how beautiful. And that's a female. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you all how I hand pollinate. So, you see this, this male flower right here? See how he drooped and he came right off? He's old, he's from yesterday. We don't want him. But you see this male, see how there's no fruit below him? And he's kinda open. That's the one we want. So let's break him off. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put you all in the tripod because I ain't gonna be able to do this one-handed and get a decent video. So, look at, look at it. Run off the squirrels, baby. Okay? You probably, you probably not gonna run the squirrels off. But, I'm gonna put y'all on a tripod, so, so I can show y'all how we gonna do this. So, we're gonna set that down right there. And, um, I'm gonna come back when I got the tripod set up. flowers are so pretty to me. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do in regard to the male flower. So here's the male flower. So what we want to do is we want to rip him open. Alright, I know it's a little dark out here, y'all, but y'all see I ripped him open. So I ripped all of that off. And, and you want this uh, to wear uh, the male parts. There we go. And you can kind of see some of that pollen, the dusty stuff. You see that down in there. So, what I'm going to try to do is Sometimes you rip the flower a little bit, but it doesn't matter. But what I'm doing is pretty much just rubbing some tight space. There we go. See. see how I'm just kind of rubbing that the pollen on the female part? 
And you don't have to rub it that long, but I try to get all the pollen on there that I can get. You can kind of see I ripped the flower a little bit, but it don't matter. Um, let's see if I can find another one. That's a different kind of squash over there. Focus today, people. Don't want to focus at all. Uh, here's another male. It looks pretty good. So let's rip him open. There is a hole in my front yard that I have just like stepped all the way in. I'm in the shade, so it's kind of hard to do right. But just put that down in there. Rub that all over the female parts. And you're good. And once again, for those who don't know, you see the fruit at the bottom? That's how you know it's a female. And like I said, I ripped the flower a little bit, but it don't matter. That's not going to matter. Your flower doesn't matter. You don't want to damage your actual fruit. I had another one that I hand pollinated. I usually take two males and do it. Usually one should get it, but I, I, I do two male flowers just in case. I hand pollinated this one, but I was late to the draw. The flower wasn't open like that one is. It had already closed up, and the female parts looked, they looked all shriveled up looking. See, like, see how this is closed? A lot of times when I closed and old like that it ain't really no pollen in there you can tell because it's you don't see any really dusty nice pretty pollen in there so you'll know the fresh flowers don't use these things these these are spent they're gone um this one's probably good because see how you can just tell it it just closed up and i'm gonna be honest bees might have come out here and done this for me i have seen a few bees lately but not a lot. Y'all see them current tomatoes? And I want to give y'all an idea how big they are. This is a yellow variety. That one's almost ready. Um, really good tomatoes. But um, you can see there's another one that's green right there. But I'm sure I'll get some more tomatoes on that when it, it's been cooling off. So that's a good thing. Yeah, my, my squash looks good. Y'all see it's growing way out here. I think this actually qualifies as a pumpkin. Um, but I'm pretty sure that one will take. I was trying to see if I see any females on this one. I haven't seen any females on this one here. But I got to try to keep, I'm trying to, try to route that back that way. Um, this vine wants to go everywhere. But. It's a very beautiful plant. So I wanted to show y'all that. And then I got some other chores I want to take care of. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all what I'm doing today. Um, I need the water. And somebody said they wanted to see my, um, my very ancient technique for watering the garden. So that'll be the next video. I'll show y'all. How I keep all this stuff watered, and and um, whatever else we got going on in the garden. So, welcome to garden chores for the month of August. All right.